previously in our last episode. So today, I'll be creating a shirt that any CSI would want to collect for evidence. Yeah! And just ahead... We are going to be eating only pumpkin spice foods for 24 hours. SHUT THE F*** UP! OG Creations is filmed before a live studio audience. Of two cats. G here from OG Creations. It's October, already a fun month, large part because of Halloween. All you ladies pop your pussy like this. Shake your body, don't stop, don't miss. All you ladies pop your pussy like this. We also have the first full month of autumn. We have cooler weather, which means fun, chunky sweaters. And in Seattle, it means rain season has started. We are gonna be eating only pumpkin spice foods for 24 hours. Shut the f up! Apparently, this is my TED Talk, Seattle in Films. Now there have been a number of films about and shot in Seattle. Some people remember instantly. Like Sleepless in Seattle, Fifty Shades of Grey. And then there's some that you kind of remember. Like Disclosure, Hand That Rocks the Cradle, even that horrible movie Fear. But I think the ones that really capture the Pacific Northwest are the ones that rely on the environment to be that unspoken co-star. Shut, Shut up, up Michelle. Michelle! Movies like Malignant and Twilight, they really captured the dark gray skies, damp everything. They even captured Seattle Freeze. That's where you acknowledge the person walking down the street towards you or sitting next to you on the bus with a smile or nod. However, if they try to talk to you, you're way too busy on your phone and your ear pods make it where you cannot hear them. Also, it's when you have a coworker or friend that asks you out to an event and your response is always, I'll try to make it. When you all know you're gonna bell at the last minute so you can stay home and order Uber Eats. One film and one film only in the last few decades have actually captured Seattle, even down to that greenish hue due to the extreme cloud cover we have. That movie is The Ring. I have a special place in my heart for the movie The Ring. I was relatively new to Seattle. Three bucks, two bags, one me. And I was passing the film crew in their multiple locations around town on my way to school or work. Say, where does a young prostitute get started in this town? This movie has it all. The remake of an even creepier Japanese version. Two extremely creepy kids. The recipe for horse soup. Horse stew with spring vegetables. How easy is that? And, in 25 years, this film will be used as a historical document of letting everyone know what exactly a video cassette was. What is that? What the fuck is that? In honor of the ring, this Halloween, I wanted to see if I could make the iconic ring of light from the movie poster into a tie-dye. I ended up deciding on a two-step dyeing process and created a fun v-neck. But being a cheeky bastard, I also wanted to see what they would look like on some men's undies. So we better get started, because you only got... I'm starting with a 100% cotton men's Calvin Klein cotton stretch v-neck t-shirt that I have pre-soaked in a soda ash bath for 25 minutes and then spun until practically dry. I don't want the circle to be 100% perfect or centered. I roughly gather the material in the upper center of the t-shirt and secure it using rubber bands. I flip the shirt over and do the same to the back.
These 95% cotton, 5% spandex briefs have also been pre-soaked in a soda ash bath for 25 minutes and then spun until dry. Blatantly speaking, I know that my customers purchase these briefs and thongs because they love to show off and highlight their goodies. That's why I like making them so much. I love knowing that my items are adding confidence to people's lives and making them feel good about themselves. So when figuring out where I wanted to place the ring here, of course it had to be right on the two B's. Bulge and booty hole. No! When you look at the movie poster, you see green and a bit of white popping through. I haphazardly apply seafoam dye to the front and back of the material and then set it aside for 12 to 24 hours to cure.
I mostly covered the material with Raven Black and then set it aside again, this time for 48 hours to cure. I rinse them in cold water and then slowly increase the temperature to hot to ensure that all of the soda ash has been removed. I saw her face. They are ran through the laundry using a cold water cycle and then a hot water cycle. After being dried, ironed, and placed into inventory, they are added to my Etsy store ready to purchase. You can get this and similar items by clicking the link above or by visiting ogcreationstore.etsy.com.
honestly, I'm shocked with how great these turned out. I just pulled this process completely out of my ass and it totally worked. The green and white sneaking through that black and the ring has that unique glow just like the movie poster. And I love it. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or just want to leave a comment, make sure to do so in the section below. I love responding to everyone and plus it really does help with the algorithm for new viewers to find this channel, so comment away. As always, please make sure to like and subscribe. Happy Halloween and I'll see you next week.